Hello, I'm Nick Poolin, and today we're going to be taking a closer... Wait, you know what? Actually, let's drive an extremely rare British FV-102 Striker anti-tank missile carrier. The FV-102 Striker is a British member of the Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance Track Classification designed as an anti-tank guided missile carrier specifically for swing fire guided missile systems. There were a total of only 48 ordered in this extremely rare configuration and we believe that this may be the only one imported into the US. Each FV-102 Striker is originally loaded with five missiles ready for immediate deployment in the launcher and five more on board for reloading. As fun as it may be to test fire one of those, we unfortunately don't have that system installed in this example. The Striker Swing Fire Anti-Tank Guided Missile Launcher is boxed on the rear of the body. When needed, the launch box is elevated to a 35 degree angle and the missiles are fired over the front of the vehicle. They are wire guided missiles where the gunner has to keep his sights on the target and control it with a small joystick. It is fitted with eight smoke grenade launchers, however these examples have been dewatted, all in two clusters of four on each side. It is fitted with a turret and mount for a 7.62mm L7 general purpose machine gun, the British variant of the Belgian FN Mag. It could be operated directly or remotely under cover from inside of the striker through a trigger mechanism and linkage to the control traverse and elevation. Its ammo capacity was 3,000 rounds and the FB-102 carries a crew of three with the speed and agility being a top priority. The Stryker engines were initially a Jaguar 4.2 liter burning gasoline and produced approximately 190 horsepower. Later in production, the engines were replaced with the Cummings 5.9 liter diesel. The armor is aluminum instead of steel for a lighter weight and mobility allowing the top speed to reach 50 miles per hour with a range of 300 miles and still providing protection from small arms fire and fragmentation. The Stryker first entered service in 1976 with the Royal Artillery Anti-Tank Guided Missile Batteries later being fielded by the British during Operation Iraqi Freedom following Saddam Hussein's ordered invasion of Kuwait. This anti-tank missile carrier was originally part of the Littlefield Collection and was part of the 2014 sale in Portola Valley, California. If you like this video and want to learn more about cool militaria, then visit our website at coolinauctions.com. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe, and send it downrange.